How is my family doing tonight? It's Erica with Not Your Average EDC, and we are going to do the final review of the Spartan Harzy folder, the 3.25 inch one in CPM S45 VN. I'm super excited to share my findings with you guys because this knife is really not like anything I've ever used. Um, this is my first Spartan. This is my first, you know, really artistic, fancy knife, if you will. Uh, lots of first times with this. So let's, let's start off with, I think the cons, I did that with the TRM as well. We started off with the cons just because there aren't really that many. We'll just get them out of the way and then get into like the good juicy stuff. Um, so with the Spartan folder... The only thing that I could really pick out about this that, that drove me nuts was there, there was no choil when it first came here. So if you guys can see, I put a little tiny choil in there and um, I used my Dremel. I'll make another video about that. Um, I put a little nick in there just so I could reach that edge fully. It didn't come with that. And um, the reason I did that was because this blade has a recurve, a very slight recurve up in here. And that was already going to be difficult enough to hit on a stone freehand without it like an angle system. And I just felt like adding that choil in there would just really help me um, use like the corner of my stone to actually get within that recurve, which it did. And, you know, we'll go over that later in the video. Um, so no, no sharpening choil, kind of a bummer for me, just because ease of sharpening is really difficult without one. Um, and then the edges of this knife being a little sharp, we noticed that right off the bat, just in hand, it's, it's just a little bit noticeable, I guess. It's, it's a little sharp. The jimping is pretty aggressive. Just the edges on this are very, uh, they catch you. Uh, didn't bother me at all, but I do know that it will bother some other people. Oh, Romy just got stung by a bee, I think. Whoops. Um, yeah, other than that, I don't think there were any cons, really. It was just those two minor things, because this, this knife is actually really, uh, really unique in my opinion. So let's talk about all of the, the good stuff. St sorry about the oil stains. I changed the oil in my truck today. So my hands are like disgusting and I'm covered in oil. I'm so sorry. Um, okay, let's talk about the good stuff. Let's talk about the exciting stuff about this because this really is something that I just haven't seen before. So we have a knife similar in size to the Benchmade 940. Um, also similar in that slim, sleek design. So the, the 940 is a little bit longer, but you know, we kind of have a couple knives here. This is a small Sabenza 31. Those are much more close together in terms of overall length. This is kind of more like a design. The, the design is very similar with these two. They're both like um, slim, right? So 940 has more length, but very similar design. Small Sabenza 31, just overall very similar length. And then again, in terms of like a slim EDC knife, Emerson Mini A100, very close in size and design to the Mini A100, right? So a couple, a couple knives that it's pretty close to. Um, however, the, the Spartan Harzy is 100% in its own little family because it genuinely does not have any similarities other than being a hard use knife to those knives pictured. So this reminds me of a, of a steak knife um, or an overbuilt fillet knife. It's very slim and elegant. The blade shape is literally just like a steak knife. Uh, it's, it's decently thick, but it does thin out a little bit. And you just have this kind of, I wouldn't say slicey, but very usable, capable, uh, reachable tool. The, the length on this and the way it's designed actually gives you a really good amount of, of length, uh, especially to move through material, which was really nice. And with that slight recurve, 
this moved through material way better than I thought it would. Um, I really thought this was going to be just an absolute shitter on cardboard. And I recorded myself cutting cardboard with this the other day. And out of um, this and the Chris Reeve and the TRM Neutron, uh, it actually moved through really well and on camera better than the Chris Reeve. It just somehow blows through material really nicely and I do think that uh, we have to give that that little bit of recurve credit because I think it just helps move it through and past. Um, but the overall design is very comfortable for me. I did some woodwork with it which I recorded on the channel like cutting some branches and stuff and some vines and like it it just wasn't it the, the sharp edges didn't bother me. The ergonomics didn't bother me. Um, I could tell that this knife wanted me to put my fingers in certain places because we have those like little grooves there. But it wasn't to the point where I was like, oh, this is obnoxious. Because you guys know I love lack of ergonomics. So like the knife telling me to put my fingers here, I'm not the biggest fan of. But if my fingers do actually fit there and it's comfortable, then it's not really that big of a deal to me. Um, we have some pretty big pivots here like oversized the knife came perfectly centered and never came off center zadie can we have like 20 minutes to do a review Do don't even start up um the pocket clip is really nice it is angled off of the lock bar so that's cool um it's definitely not deep carry i will tell you that i mean that's how much of the knife is sticking out of your pocket for what that's worth. Uh, but pulling it out of the pocket, if you don't have a lanyard, you have this jimping here, which is actually really nice and gives you a really good purchase on pulling it out of the pocket. Um, the design is just so nice. Like, this is a really good EDC knife, especially if you're using it for an all-around tool, maybe even a multi-tool. I know not everyone's the biggest fan of that, but if you do a little bit of poking and prying with your knife, uh, this is great for that because it's just so utilitarian. It's so slimline. You have a great, a great tip on there that's nice and thick. Um, thumb studs are honestly pretty tall, but in a good way. You get a really good uh, grasp on those without even paying attention. Uh, super smooth. Guys, it, this, is, this is a really good... No, it's a really great knife. It's not just good. It's fucking great. Um, and if I seem still kind of surprised by it, it's because I am. I just, I've never experienced something like this before. It literally is like a folding EDC steak knife that is just so well built and so well done that like even a month of using it, it just, I wasn't even able to like fully put my finger on it after a whole month. That's how interesting this is. That's how nice it is. That's how mind-blowing it is. It's really something else. It's really something special. And a month just wasn't enough with it. And that's why, you know, I'm so glad that I ended up buying it and it's mine. I don't have to, like, give it back to someone or whatever. But, guys, if I you gotta check them out. You gotta check out Spartan because they, they really have something interesting going on here. I, I mean, we have knives of this caliber, you know, like the Chris Reeve Small Savenza 31 here, in terms of build quality, American made, family owned, just all around, um, top tier, custom. You're, get, you're getting a custom knife for, you know, it's, it's over the cost of a production knife, obviously, but it's not like skyrocketed to a thousand dollars like you're getting custom quality for you know 450 bucks like like a chris reeve so the, the tolerances are out of this fucking world i'm so sorry about the barking the dogs are um having a field day out here let's see can you see them where even are they oh they're there they're having a race the two youngest ones are having a race um Lanyard hole is very generous. Love that. Oversized hardware that is really well made. Love that. Um, oh, it's just so good. And, and the engraving in this is fantastic. See, people people are like, well, why is it $455? Because let me tell you something. When you buy, like, um, not to shit on these companies at all, but when you buy, like, aftermarket pretty scales from, like, 
uh, let's say applied weapons tech or rock scale design or Lynch Northwest and it's laser engraved on there, if you're actually carrying it and using it, guys, it is going to fade off. Like a laser engraving is not going to stay. It's not going to be your little art piece for the rest of your life if you're actually using your tools. You have to remember, yes, are there cool little designs all over the place with aftermarket scales and stuff? Yes, but they're not, they're not actually fucking machined in. They're just laser engraved and they're useless. Uh, this is like actually machined into these scales so it gives it texture like I can feel the fucking teeth on this thing because they're they're machined in that takes time that takes money that's why this this fancy version is $455 the base version with just a straight titanium is like what $425 $450 but mine was $455 uh, because it has this absolutely stunning textured artwork in here so, you know, that, that is going to up the price. And look at all these little details. You've got USA and a Spartan fucking helmet machined in there right up here. You've got a filler tab right there with a Spartan helmet engraved into it. Like, give me a fucking break. You're going to pay kind of big money for that. That is incredible craftsmanship and artwork in just a gorgeous useful tool. It's beautiful. The tolerances are crazy on this, just like with Chris Reeve, guys. I'm telling you right now, like, this is very slim, very lightweight, but at the same time overbuilt and hard use. So, the let, let's talk about the factory edge that it came with, because the factory edge was, it was okay. Like, the, the bevels were even. I appreciate that. The actual edge... I don't, I don't want to say it was burnt, but it was just not um, up to par with what I, with what I wanted. It, wasn't, it just wasn't as sharp as what I wanted. So the initial um, testing that I did with it with that garlic project that I recorded uh, a couple weeks ago, it, di it didn't do that great. And like the geometry and the thickness behind the edge and stuff doesn't lend this to do projects like that that well. Um, however, I sharpened it a few times. The edge is very nice now. This S40 S45 took just an incredible, incredible edge. Um, I mentioned before that on the stones, it felt like maximate. Now, peanut gallery, shut the fuck up for five minutes and listen to me. The composition of this S45 VN is what feels like maximate to me. I understand that this is thicker and harder than your dick is ever going to be. I'm not talking about that. I'm talking about the actual steel itself. This S45VN, the way it was double cold cryoed, double deep cryoed, made it so fucking hard that when you're on the stones with it, it just takes a while to move that material, to move that steel, to create a burr. That's what I was talking about. Literally go stuff your face with another Cheeto, please, for the love of Christ. Because this steel is not like a production S45. It, this, this, this S45 is not like a Spyderco S45. This is double deep cryoed. It's hard. It's, it just feels different. It's done differently. It's more of like a, a custom heat tree. This is not a production heat tree. So very, very, very well done from Spartan on this S45. It moves like Maximate. Yes, it takes longer to create a burr and to work with. It takes twice the amount of time that production S45 does. Um, and you have to use diamonds. I tried traditional uh, Nanawa water stones with this. Didn't do jack shit to it. And I tried for a while. It, it, none of them were moving this. Uh, you have to go with diamonds, unfortunately. And... Um, not everyone is a fan of DMT stones. I personally think they're fine. Um, they're, they're great. They're great at moving material quickly and efficiently. Um, I love DMT stones, and that's what I had to use with this. Um, I had to use a 600 grit DMT fine stone to get any type of movement with this steel. It's just too too well done <laughs> to go to like a 1,000 grit Nanawa. Um, but once you get it moving, once you get those those burrs built up and removed and apex and all that good shit. Um, this is fantastic. It's a very stable steel. It's very, very stable and well done. And 
I had to use the corner of my DMT stone to get into this recurve area because there was just no way I was going to get it otherwise. When you're laying this on the stone, that recurve does not hit it. And that's another reason why I use diamonds. The diamond stones are harder than the Nanawas will ever be. And I literally would shave the corner of my Nanawa stone off if I ever tried to do uh, that. You know, this it, what I tried to do with the DMT stone, it would just shave the traditionals right off. So definitely you know got to use a, a diamond stone with these um the diamond plate that is bonded to the plastic is plenty strong and plenty hard enough to hyper focus on that recurve area and just work on it a little bit to get up in there so that you can work on the whole actual edge and not miss that recurve area um but my diamond stones were shining with this um it's dropped nicely again takes longer it just it moves like maximum and it takes a little longer to work with than any s45 that i have used um but i appreciate that double deep cryo because this is a, a very um hard strong steel and i'm not saying that like the literal hardness on it is like 65 guys if i were to guess it's probably between fucking i don't know 60 and 61 maybe 62 most it's not going to be balls deep like fucking maximum but it's the way that they did treat it, it just feels harder than it probably actually is. It's just very well done. I really enjoy it. And it's also tough. I was doing a decent amount of prying and wiggling and, um, you know, pushing material apart, um, prying things with staples apart. Didn't even flinch that edge, guys. And I was really putting some impact on there. Um, just didn't didn't budge. This is a an absolutely incredible tool and knife if you are looking for something kind of in the realm and feel of like a hinderer maybe but you don't want a hinderer for reasons that we all know of bam this is this is what you want right here this is like it takes aspects of a hinderer with the quality of a Chris Reeve and makes it into this and it's super unique I mean that filler tab is clearly like a hinderer type deal um these oversized Pillars are a hinderer type deal. We've got massive pivot. Everything about this feels much like a hinderer, just a slimline version. Um, we do have a detent ball in there. Um, it's, this is just fucking cool. And I'm excited to use it more because I just it just it's in its own little world like I don't know how to explain it like when I'm using this it just continues to kind of surprise me at what it does how well it cuts how well it slices how strong it is how unmovable it is and the steel again not something I've ever used before it feels it feels like you know John's um treatment from BGM knives it's like a it's like a custom heat treat I'm just not used to that with S45 I was really amazed at how this was working how this was performing because i'm so used to production and it's like this doesn't even feel like s45 i'm like what even is this it's it's really incredible what you can do with knives and steels when you when you start putting like custom aspects into them um yeah this is a winner guys i really can recommend this i absolutely love it and spartan is super interactive with their customers i posted pictures of this on my instagram they would comment saying like appreciate the post like i am a goddamn nobody you should not be appreciating my posts are you nuts like i appreciate you for putting out a balls fucking awesome product for us uh, that's i appreciate you but that's crazy when they go on their own page and they're like commenting on everyone else stuff being like appreciate the post appreciate the photography appreciate the kind words like that is awesome if if every customer service um group could be like that imagine what the world would be like right i just think it's incredible that they're that they're watching what we're saying they're watching what we're doing what we're posting and they are responding i think that's so cool um I never had to, you know, contact customer service or anything about this knife. I haven't actually interacted with them in terms of, like, needing services done to this knife because it, it's perfect. It came perfect. I got it from DLT Trading, by the way. Um, it came perfect. It is perfect. Uh, but they were interacting with me through my Instagram, which is really cool. Um, 
man, I just love this thing. I absolutely love it, guys. And I will say, the bigger version of this, the 4-inch or the 4.25, whatever the fuck it is, way too big for most of you. I'm going to tell you right now, it's going to be way too big for most of you. Yes, I have held one. Yes, I have handled one. Yes, it was the same exact quality as this. But it's like, it's like a full-blown uh, tactical, like, want to kill someone knife. I mean, it's just, it's too big. Uh, in all honesty, the Benchmade 940 is borderline too big for most people as well uh in terms of length like do you need much more from this for your edc probably not like the 940 is pretty damn long the spartan is fairly close to it in length i think that this this one the 3.25 inch is going to be plenty cutting edge for you plenty long plenty big to get your your hand onto um unless you have gorilla mitts like I think this is going to be good for most people. Anything else? Let's see. We're 21 minutes in. Um, the hardware was bronze when it got here. That has faded. It's not completely gone. But as you can see, uh, using it for a while, it's just kind of faded. Um, nothing happened to the machined engraving in here nothing happened to that at all that is still nice and crispy and clear as to what it is which it is you know the bombing the plane here really cool um oh i love this thing i freaking love this thing so let's see yeah same build quality as a chris reeve by far um does not feel like one in terms of opening and closing it. Like, we've got that hydraulic action with the Chris Reeve. It's very slow rolling. Um, this is much more flicky and, and fidgety. You guys know I fucking hate that word, but this is fidgety in comparison to a Chris Reeve. It's like a drop shot. It's very, very smooth. Um, you know, running on those washers in there, those phosphor bronze washers. Very smooth. Um, just sucks that blade. Bloop right in yeah it doesn't feel like a chris reeve in terms of action but everything else build quality all overall quality absolutely incredible just like a chris reeve um and yeah it, it you know the design really does remind me of a, you know the slimline 940 and the slimline emerson but again it is just it blows these out of the water in terms of like the quality, right? I mean, this is in this is in a whole other tier compared to these. And these are fantastic knives. Don't get me wrong; these are two of my favorite knives. But it's just a whole different level. You cannot compare, um, you know, these these hard use beaters. You cannot compare the the quality and the the tolerances to something like this. This is next level. Zadie, Zadie, please! I'm almost done. God damn. Um, anything else? I don't think so, guys. Yeah, um, just be careful sharpening it. Like I said, it takes a little while, but it's an absolute beater of a knife. Um, I can't recommend it enough. And I want you guys to try it because it's so unique. I'm telling you right now, this is not like anything that we're used to. We're really not. This is very very special and please go check out the cardboard cutting with this because when i recorded that it just like melted through it was wild and it and it shows in the video there's no effort it's just like melting through everything so yeah highly recommend guys please check out spartan um they have an instagram i got this from dlt trading dlt usually has the best selection of these and you know they have great prices incredible shipping um yeah, check out the Spartan Harzi folder, the 3.25 inch, guys. It's incredible. Let me know if you have any questions down in the comments. A lot of stuff was recorded throughout the month. Um, so if you have any questions, maybe check out those videos first. But either way, just, just put it down in the comments. Let me, let me know if you guys have anything to talk about down there. Uh, check out these knives. Um, yeah, go use your shit. I love you all, and I will see you on the next video. Have a great weekend, guys.